Hello, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds. I'm out here in central Oklahoma, kind of in the middle of nowhere, at a really cool muscle car hoard, especially for those of you who like the old 409 Chevrolet cars. This is going to be a really good treat for you. Maybe one of my better muscle car hoard videos that I've done. Please bear with me. The lighting in these situations, as we know, when I go out and search for these barn finds, you know, uh, perfection is never something that we'll ever achieve as far as lighting and uh, all of that kind of situation. And, and sometimes you can barely hear me in some of these places. So I have to speak loud. I have to make sure the camera's on right. So bear with me, but I'll show you the best way that I can what's in this building, which is really cool. Most of this stuff's been sitting here for a long period of time. So right off the bat, we got some old Cushman cycles here. And it's a wheel hoard. Well, I think they purchased some of these wheels from an old dealer somewhere. But right off the bat, check out this 1972 Super Cheyenne big block Chevrolet truck. I was a 72 model. I do believe it's been partially restored, but really, really cool. 72 big block Chevrolet truck. I think that's called burnt orange. It's definitely orange. I, this is really what I'm here for. Check out this 61 Bel Air 409 car, unrestored. Really cool. Check out the barn dust on this. I know like uh, I hear a lot of times guys are talking about the barn finds are everywhere, but generally the stuff that I bring you is legit. None of this stuff is like you see a lot of times on social media where a lot of things look like they're staged. Not what I look for. This stuff is the real deal. Some of you have to do your own research. I don't know off the top of my head how many 61 Bel Air 409s were assembled, but this one is really, really cool. Totally original interior too. How about that? Okay, so I won't be able to spend a whole lot of time on any individual car, but I want to show you what exactly is here. Down this side of the 61, and then a little bit of the engine bay of this one, and then we'll move along. I know a lot of guys really love these early 409 cars. And then now this, one of my favorites here is this red 62 Bel Air 409. Really cool. Dual snorkel, of course. How about that? I am really a big fan of red. So a lot of people already know that. So this definitely is something that I would definitely like to have. You can see the dust that's on this car is here because it's been sitting here quite a while. Like there's been no hands on that at all. Like somebody put their hand right there and up here. But check out this beautiful, which I love red with red interior. Look at that. How cool is that? Red with red, 62 Bel Air 409. Okay, let's move along. We have a 70 model truck here. Pretty nice, so we can open the door on it. Get a little shot. I like that. Nice truck. I believe this car to the right was supposed to be an old highway patrol car. Pretty neat. Got the Nova here. I don't believe this is a big block car at all. 
This is the only Impala that is here. I believe this car was born a 283. It has a big block in it now. I think a 396 or a 454, but a really nice 63 Impala with red interior. Bench seat, four speed. Nice looking car. 55 Chevrolet, which I don't think I can get the door open on it. And this is a 68 396 SS L78 Camaro, which I do believe it is partially restored or definitely repainted. It's not a total unrestored car, but it is definitely an authentic 68 L78 Camaro. And here is a 64 model Bel Air 409, single four barrel carb, right here beside it. And you can almost see the 409 cross flags on this one. And then this one over here is really, really cool. A 63 409, four and a quarter, two four, with the two four barrels. But it's also a Bel Air. not an Impala. And I believe it's blue. Yeah, definitely blue. Give you a better shot of under the hood of this car. And I think what we have here is about a 65 Plymouth. I do believe it's a big block car as well. A lot of cool stuff in this shed here, or barn. This is definitely, I guess you could call this a barn with, because it don't have lighting. Get to the back side of, of this car. Maybe we can get a better shot of the rear of these cars here. If I can get to the rear. Biscayne, 64 Biscayne. And around I like these cars for sure they're definitely not something that I'm into and authenticate but I know a lot of people really like these old 409 cars so I definitely wanted to show what was in this barn I don't really know which one is my favorite at this point. Maybe the blue four and a quarter or this 62 Bel Air right here. Really nice. And back to the 61. I know this one's totally unrestored according to the owner. 61 409 Bel Air. You don't find much better hoard than this as far as 409 cars is concerned. The guy does have another couple more, but not in this building. One more time, I'll walk back this way. And then I'll show you this 68 Camaro. You can get the door. I barely can without touching that 55, and we definitely don't want to do that. Hard to video these things in such tight quarters, but that's what we do. We do what we can. I bring, my viewers want to see this stuff no matter what. I know exactly how it sits. Really cool stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video of these really cool trucks and 409s and one Camaro and a really cool horde of some cars that definitely are worth some pretty good dollars here. Um, so please like, share, subscribe.
If you are interested in having me inspect your 1969 or 70 Chevelle Super Sport, don't hesitate to reach out at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube is where you find me, of course. Really thank you for all the participation. More videos on the way.